Hey Shadow. This cat follows me everywhere. I came out here to shoot a video and I all of a sudden got a cat. Hey baby. This is why I came out here. I want to show people this tree. You can see everything has gone dormant for the winter. All the yams have gone back. I'm ready to harvest, which I did yesterday. Here's the tree I'm talking about. got many nicknames. The botanical name is Spondias purpurea. Uh, another form that's not very good to eat is called hog plum. Uh, my dad used to call it scarlet plum in Miami when he was a kid. Um, tiny bit of it got me this strain, whatever it is, at Echo. I think I think it's going to be two maize ago. Uh, it's incredibly fast growing. Believe it or not, a little, little over a year ago, this huge tree uh, and a pot fit in the back seat of my Honda Accord. And now look at this thing. What has me so excited about it is the sheer number of blooms that you see coming out of the dormant twigs. Get close up to these here. Each of these little clusters of blooms will make several fruit and they're wonderful. They're um, oval, maybe half the size of an egg, uh, red flesh, I'm sorry, red skin. Uh, the flesh is about the color of a ripe mango and to me the flavor is about half peach and half strawberry and what's interesting is even though it's a truly deciduous tropical tree uh, it, it completely sheds its leaves in the fall and when it started it last fall I got worried and I went online and saw what it does and they said uh, that when you see the blooms emerging in spring is when it's going to be breaking dormancy and it is blooming like crazy um, last year which is the first year it fruited I only got eight little fruit they definitely taste better if you pick them up off the ground rather than picking them. But this year, it looks like I'm going to be looking at hundreds and hundreds of these things. Uh, I'm going to give it another watering and a feeding soon, especially after this rain comes. And I think it's probably going to be early summer before I start getting fruit. But I'm just really excited about this because it took me eight years to get this thing. And I just wish Dad could know that I had one. Uh, he had a different form in Miami. Uh, that he said was mostly pit um, and a little bit of uh, flesh on the outside. These ones, the pit occupies maybe 25, maybe 30 percent of the volume of the fruit and all the rest is this delicious meat. Uh, it roots extremely easy from cuttings. I've had cuttings literally root in five days. I've given them a whole bunch to Andy Furk and other people. Um, but I'll shoot another video in a few months when I got fruit to share. Bye-bye.